Sagittarius, this is your weekly reading for March 3rd, 2020. Um, we are checking your current energy and what's coming up in this week with your near future energies, possible outcomes, and two advice cards here. So, Sagittarius, your current energy is the star card. Um, so the star card is very like... Uh, wishing upon something wishing for something and the wishing wish coming true it's a good card it's not a bad card your uh, current energy is just hoping and wishing for things to go your way i'm getting um nine of swords is also your current energy so you could be feeling really down this week um you might really have to like pick yourself up again and again and remind yourself to have faith you know, to stay strong, to believe in yourself. Um, this is like a hurt, disappointing, d depression type of card, you know. Procrastinating and feeling depressed or down. Um, why are you feeling this way is because of Six of Swords reversed. Um, upright, this means moving on. But backwards, it means struggling to move on. Um, resisting leaving a situation whichever whatever situation it is that's bringing you you know emotional instability or sadness here or disappointment here you're having a really hard time letting go of that and just you know kind of leaving it in the past and then you have queen of pentacles in reversed as well um which also means financial freedom so financially you look fine to me here uh, but you could be feeling a little unstable because um you know, mixing it up with this whole spread itself. Um, see, all of these three cards, even your re near future outcome is basically that you're struggling to let go of something and you're just wishing and wishing and wishing that, you know, no, I just want something good to come out of this. And you're really struggling to let go of the pain that is causing you the okay the whatever it is that you're fighting to maybe you know Sagittarius I'm getting that this isn't your wish fulfillment um but you're just really fighting it to make it your wish fulfillment you're just trying to you're just so tired of waiting for your wish to come true that you're just just making trying to make it fit trying to whatever you have trying to convince yourself no this is it you know and honestly, this isn't it. From what I'm seeing, this is just bringing you pain, emotional instability. Um, you just don't feel stable and balanced in your life right now. Everything is in reverse. And the upright card, the one we have, is the sad card. So, you know, what? You're resisting letting go of something. You are having a really hard time letting go of something that you know is bringing you pain. Um, the sun card... In reverse too, you could be dealing with another fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. Um, but this is more your energy for the week. And it just basically says that you are trying to make something fit, trying to convince yourself that this is it, when you very well know in the back of your head that this isn't it. Okay, this isn't your wish fulfillment. And you're having a really hard time of letting it go. Because you're scared that, you know, if I let go of this, you're scared of the other side of what would happen if you finally let go of it. But I'm also getting that you've made a decision. Um, that is what your advice is. Make that decision. Because you kind of know already. Um, you are rebelling against this energy. In your possible outcome, we also have the Hierophant card reversed. Straight, this card means conforming to, you know, social standards and all that. But in reverse, it means rebelling against it. So, well, that could you just be rebelling against the fact that this isn't it. But, you know, Sagittarius, sometimes we get blindsided by things or we just have this idea of people in our life or things. We just have this idea and we're like, no. You know, this cup is half full, even though the cup is empty. And I'm not saying you should look at the cup as empty. But if it's not half full, you can't look at it as half full. 
or half empty. You have to look at it as an empty cup. So if this situation isn't bringing you happiness and fulfillment, don't try to convince yourself that it will. Maybe if I wait a little longer, it will. It won't. And I feel like you're realizing that every day you're just coming to that realization more and more. And you're trying to be logical, you're trying to focus, but your emotions are just so heightened right now that you're having a really hard time with that. But I see the possible outcome here is that you will say, no, I'm making up my mind and I'm doing this. I am letting go of this because this is not my wish come true. And I can't keep doing this to myself. I am letting go of all of this. So... Your advice is stick with your decisions. Even if you might come off as cold hearted to some people, Queen of Swords, she is she knows what she wants straight and you know, um she is very determined and she is very communicative, but in the reverse, some people might feel like you're not being fair. Some people might feel you're being cold hearted, but sometimes you have to be that way. The advice is that to get out of this type of pain do this if you come off to other people as cold-hearted you know that's okay because sometimes you just have to really be that way you just have to put your foot down and i feel like you're doing that and you've made that decision and you're sticking with it with the judgment card here it or here this reading i'm seeing that you've made this decision to cut someone out probably or you know break sever ties with someone and you are sticking with the decision. Um, if it's work or career or finance, it could be that you're leaving a job and you have decided to do it for good. Um, even though it's really hard for you, you're financially scared or in a relationship, even though there's like a lot of aspects of the other side that scare you, you are choosing to be cold-hearted. You're choosing to be more, you know, judgy here and you're saying no i have to put my foot down here and your advice is yes put your foot down even if it hurts someone in this process sometimes by you know when we're not happy with someone we should let them know so they can either change they can either change or they can let go of you you know and if someone doesn't really understand why you need to cut them out and they are a negative influence on you and they don't really see it not all the toxic people most of the time or they just don't see it people who cause us pain sometimes have a way of justifying it in their own head that they're not hurting us or they're not doing the wrong thing but they are and you know it looks like that you have been trying to make this happen you've been trying really hard to make this happen and you know work on this but it's just not happening and you're realizing this and you're rebelling and you're like no nah, no nah, i've got to take my own path here i got to follow my heart my own beliefs here and i'm putting my foot down if i have to cut someone out i will cut them out i don't care if i come off as cold i don't care what happens but this is what i need to do this is for the bigger good this is for the bigger picture itself and this just isn't good. This pain, I have to let go of this. This emotional instability, I have to let go of that. Like, I am the sun. I can't be conflicting with my own emotions all the time, you know? And you're saying, yeah, no, I'm doing this. You're sticking with this decision, whatever it is that you're making. And, you know, that's a good thing, Sagittarius. It is not a bad thing. Don't let someone make you feel like you're being bad or you're doing the wrong thing don't be so scared of the other side sometimes you need to take really strong decisions here luck is on your side this just came up so do this sometimes you know things are just pushing us in a certain direction where we actually will get wish fulfillment so don't just try to like make your current reality your wish fulfillment if you're not entirely happy with it if you're not entirely happy with it, it's not for you. And you deserve to be happy. You are worthy of being happy. And you should know that and you should make that happen for yourself. And now we're going to look at an affirmation card for you. Something to be mindful of this week, especially while going through that. Let's see what we have for Sagittarius here. 
magic. I believe in magic. I see evidence of it all the time. And though the tricks can probably be explained away by something sensible and ordinary, I'd rather not ruin the fun. Other people can fill their days with mere coincidence. I'll fill mine with holy crap, that's unbelievable. So believe in your own magic, okay? Believe that that wasn't your wish fulfillment. I'm just going to get another affirmation card for you here. Ups and downs. I see life as an incredible ride and I'm lucky to be on it. Yes, the ups and downs make me want to puke sometimes, but they're also what make things fun and interesting. And when you look back, even puking on yourself makes for a good story. So, you know, that's what I'm getting from these cards as well. Really follow your heart, you know, believe in yourself. If you're not, look at things the way they are. Don't be scared that if you leave this situation that you will lose a chance or something. No. If you're leaving a situation because you're unhappy, that doesn't mean you're losing a chance. You're losing the burden of that situation. So that's all I have for you, Sagittarius, for the week of March 3rd. And I will see you next time. Thank you for watching, you guys. Please like and subscribe. If this resonates with you, let me know down in the comments.